Hey guys, in this video, we are going to discuss this problem here. So using the lag branch polynomial interpolation of this function f at these three points are uh, now. Let's look at this one first. Uh, using the lag branch interpolation polynomial of, of f uh, at these points x, x naught plus h plus, and uh, the point is x naught plus 2h. h is a positive value, right? Uh, and we are asked to derive the three point uh, end point formula for f prime, evaluated at x naught. Let's, and also find its order of accuracy. Let's do that. So these are the three points. Uh -huh. So yep, x naught and x1 is this, x2 is this. And so you know that uh, we are going to uh, interpolate f of x using these three data points and one is f of x naught and another one is f of x1 and the next one is final point is f of x2 right so we know those three data points and we can find the Lagrange interpolation polynomial which passes through those data points so these are the for that you have to compute uh, cardinal functions l naught l1 l2 so l naught of x is uh, this one and i think you remember how to write the cardinal function here the first one so on the on the numerator we know x naught and you put other points with x x minus x1 times x minus x2 and on the denominator uh, we uh, write all terms uh, except uh, except x naught here x naught we start off with x naught all the time x naught with other points right x naught minus x1 times x naught minus x2 because we have only three points right so like that, you can define these cardinal functions. So here you want to find an approximation uh, to f prime evaluated at x naught. That's why you, after finding these cardinal functions, you find uh, these, it's derivative at, at x naught, at x naught here. So you get something like these, right? Pretty easy to compute, right? So you have to do this on your own, right? Otherwise you won't understand this. You cannot uh, repeat, you cannot do the same thing in the exam, right? That's why you have to practice a little bit. So do this on your own, right? So the approximation value to this is this one here. So approximated at the approximation to f prime evaluated at x naught is this one here so what is that uh, f evaluated at x naught times the the first derivative of uh, uh, the car first cardinal function evaluated at uh, x naught right and plus and f evaluated at x2 this is the second data point, right? Times the derivative of uh, this Lagrange derivative of this one evaluated at x naught, right? Which is this. So subbing these values into here, right? You can come up with this formula pretty easily. You have to do this in on your own. It is very important. You put uh, you put approximate sign don't put uh, equal sign right because we are finding approximations right so we find an approximation to this it is very important to put uh, this approximation sign right so this is the approximation to this so what is that approximate one no h uh, times this thing here so this is the approximation to f prime evaluated that it's not pretty easy to do so you have to practice this uh, by doing on your own right 
So now you can find the error. error. So when you approximate uh, this by using this approximation, you get error. So you are going to measure that error. So let's measure that. So here x is a variable. So you know that using the error and term. So this is the Lagrange. So polynomial error, right? When you interpolate using a polynomial, you get this much error. So here x is a variable. That's why this epsilon depends on x because x is a variable. Why? So you want to differentiate this one with respect to x. That's why here x is a variable, right? So when you differentiate this whole thing with respect to x, you get this. Uh -huh. So here you have this one and this, and you get this. Then you sub the point you want. So this is the point we are interested in. So we sub this point into that, right? When you sub this point into that, so this, uh, point, uh, this term becomes uh, zero, right? Because so this is all the linear, uh, the multiplication of all the linear terms that becomes zero, right? So you end up with getting this one here. So do this on your own, right? I recommend you do this on your own, otherwise it won't. Uh, do this, you, you, you cannot reproduce this uh, in your exam, right? So it is very important uh, for you to do this on your own, right? So this is the approximation and this is the error and, and the difference between, uh, then you can use equal sign. Here you write with the error, right? Here you can write the equal sign. Earlier you have to write the approximation sign, right? Otherwise you won't get two marks, right? Right, okay, all right then. So distance between the exact and the approximation value uh, gives you the error, this is the error bound, right? If if this uh, F triple prime or F third derivative of F is bounded on, uh, this should be X2 here, X0 comma X2. This is, this should be not X1, X2. Uh, so under this assumption, you can say that this one is bounded by a constant C, right? Therefore, this uh, error, the error between exact and the approximation value is bounded. Bounded, uh, You can see that uh, here you have h to the power 2 and, and the error is order 2 here, right? Order 2. So, so therefore, the order of accuracy is to right. So we prove that. Uh, so find its order of accuracy, and we derive an approximation to this at x naught. And this is the uh, way of doing that, right? So, so I remind you. Uh, you have to put uh, this approximation mark when you find an approximation and this should be equal sign here. So this is the error analysis, right? Uh, all right, I hope you understood this, right?